Okay, this was originally going to be a short video of my Beretta U22 NEOS 22 caliber pistol. However, um, when I was doing some research, you know, just to have some additional information to provide to any viewers who might come across this, I came across the fact that there was a recall of the uh, NEOS back in 2010. However, I do not recall um, receiving notification that there was a recall. So I went back and I looked through my email and whatnot, and I did not find anything regarding a recall. So I went to the web and found this. Recall notice. Breda Neos. Apparently, there is an issue with the um, firing pin. Let's see if we can find that. Uh, the pistol may fire if the safety is moved from the off to the on position. Now, supposedly fairly rare, extremely remote, they call it, and no injuries have occurred because of this condition. However, because of safety concerns relating to this situation, Beretta USA Corporation is immediately implementing a recall of the Beretta 22 caliber NEOS semi-automatic pistols. Um, so, I see that this has an actual link to it and I had clicked on that. And it takes you to another page. And this page pretty much describes um, whether or not your particular pistol is one of the recalled ones. Your NEOS may not be affected, please check here. And you can, let's see here, click on that and it shows you where you can find your serial number. And you can enter your serial number here and supposedly it will tell you whether or not your pistol has been recalled. So let's just set this off to the side here and we'll focus on that for a minute while I input my serial number. Now, um, I'm not sure exactly what information will come up whenever I do this. So just in case I don't want it on screen because as I said, I don't like to do a lot of editing on my videos. I try to just do everything in one take and however it comes out, that's the way it is under normal circumstances. But in any case, here it goes. Search. And, uh-oh. The repair. Complete no. So here's what it is. Alright, we'll go to model JU2S60B. Repair completed? No. Therefore, I gotta take this guy, send this guy back for repair. Just as I was about to make a video explaining how reliable this pistol has been. Uh, as I said, I don't use it a lot, but I do uh, use it occasionally. And in all the times that I have used it, it has performed flawlessly. Um, it has pretty much digested every ammunition type uh, 22 that I've used. Um, from what I can recall, I don't recall anything, you know, giving me any failure to extract or failures to feed or anything like that. Um, now the mini mags, they may be a little long, uh, the 22 caliber mini mags, they may be a little longer than some of the regular 22s, uh, but I don't recall those guys hanging up either. Um, like I said, I don't use that particular type of ammunition very frequently, but, you know, I just, you know, 22 is pretty cheap, and so I just ran pretty much anything through it that I could get my hands on just to see whether or not it, um, how it held up. But um, this is the NEOS, and so we'll just go directly into the uh, into looking at it, I guess. Just combine these two. And let me just set this up. 
Shut that off. I guess I'll be doing some editing anyway. Alright. And so this is the Neos. Now the reason why I purchased this, uh, I needed a 22 caliber uh, pistol. And instead of getting something like the uh, Ruger Buckmark or something along those lines, I really like the space age design of this. You know, there's always a little bit of aesthetics, in my opinion, whenever you buy a pistol. And this really just uh, had the aesthetics that I like. Okay, we'll see. some of the glare off of this if we can. There you go. Alright. Now this once again is the Neos. It has the 6 inch barrel. It has a, a scope mounting rail on the top. I believe that's a um, weaver style mount. And you can see the sight picture here. Let's see if we can get another angle here. Come look down there. And on this we have our safety here. It's ambidextrous. One on this side. And one on this side. And I'm a little I would say that of all the features that's the one that I'm least pleased with um, is just a little awkward, you know, trying to actually um, activate the safety. And you can see you got to really reposition your grip in order to do that. And you also run the risk of hitting your, I guess, the uh, part of your index finger here when you're actually trying to activate it so you're almost fighting against it because if you have your finger here and you're pushing down on it you're kind of not really uh, very effective in activating the safety okay so that's one thing that I don't like about it um, the magazine release is here uh, right here this is the magazine release and it will drop freely there you go and to demonstrate this is unloaded Let's come under here. now in order to do that with the magazine out there is a catch on this side here Okay, I'm a little contorted right now. There you go. So you have your magazine catch right here. You can look down there and see that there's nothing in the chamber. And this is the uh, takedown wheel here. You depress this. And then once you depress that, you can begin turning this to unscrew that. Like so. And you have to continue to keep it depressed or it will lock. You can slide that out. Release that. And there she is, disassembled. 
As I said, it's uh, very easy to uh, disassemble for cleaning and maintenance. And um, as I said, aside from the safety, the ambidextrous safety, the fact that when you try to activate it, it hits part of your hand and really kind of interferes and you have to actually reposition your grip in order to activate it. Uh, that to me is a weak point of the pistol. Um, I've read that some people do not like the angle of the grip. Um, personally, I find it uh, okay. <laughs> not much left here, right? It doesn't really bother me unless you actually contort your hand in odd ways, such as like this. Um, my, my hand is canted, and typically I wouldn't have my hand in this position anyway. It would be outward like this. And to me, you can actually sight quite easily with that. So the angle itself doesn't bother me unless you actually do something that's, for me, um, extraordinary. But uh, yeah, as I said, that's just a short uh, two-part video, I guess. I'll uh, just roll into one. One is the recall aspect, so I'll probably have to get this thing uh, taken care of. And then there's the uh, just the review portion of it, uh, what I did. And a little bit of disassembly. It's very simple to take apart. And last but not least, I'll take a look inside the case to see. Uh, this needs to be glued up a little better. It came with a spare magazine. And your quintessential lock and I believe that that was pretty much it there's a small screwdriver hex key that came with that for additional uh, maintenance activities and of course the instruction manual well I hope you found this uh, interesting and uh, let me know if any of you guys out there have used or tried the uh, the NEOS, the U22 NEOS by Beretta, um, I found it to be a uh, nice, accurate, and reliable pistol. Unfortunately, um, I guess all manufacturers can't make everything 100% uh, foolproof, and even Beretta has recalls. You know, they're a high quality company. Um, and this is something that I'll just have to get taken care of. Um, so thanks for watching. And uh, as I said, uh, let me know what you think about the, uh, the NEOS. All right. Bye-bye.